What's cool about the user class is that it's our class. As long as we implement user interface, we can do whatever else we want. For example, I'd like to store the first name of my users. So let's go add a property for that. At your terminal, run Symphony Console make entity. We'll edit the user entity, add a first name property, have it be a string, 255 length, and say yes to nullable. Let's make this property optional in the database. Done. Back over in the user class, no surprises. We have a new property and new getter and setter methods. Go generate a migration for our new user. Add the terminal, run Symphony Console make migration. Cool. Spin over and open that up to make sure it's not hiding any surprises. Awesome. Create table user with ID, email, roles, and first name columns. Close this and run it. Symphony Console Doctrine Migrations Migrate. Success. And because the user entity is just a normal Doctrine entity, we can also add dummy users to our database using the fixtures system. Open up source data fixtures app fixtures.php. We're using Foundry to help us load data. So let's create a new Foundry factory for user. Since we're having so much fun running commands in this video, let's sneak in one or three more. Symphony Console make factory. Yep, we want one for user. Go open it up. Source factory user factory.php. Our job in git defaults is to make sure that all of the required properties have good default values. Set email to self colon colon faker arrow email. I won't set any roles right now. And set first name to self colon colon faker arrow first name. Cool. Over in app fixtures, at the bottom, create a user. User factory colon colon create one. But use a specific email so we can log in using this later. How about abraca admin at example.com? Then to fill out the system a bit, add user factory colon colon create many 10. Let's try it. Back at the terminal, run Symphony Console Doctrine Fixtures Load. No errors. Check out the new table. Symphony Console Doctrine Query SQL, select star from user. And there they are. Now that we have users in the database, we need to add one or more ways for them to authenticate. It's time to build a login form.